Greetings, humble boys, girls, and of course, gift animals. How are you today? I'm doing well. Appreciate you asking. It's of course your humblest, dearest, and spiciest of uncles. Porting live from the Carl Crib, as I like to call it. I uh, got my production crew. It's a Sunday night. We got uh, football coming on here in a minute. Uh, so, yeah, what are we going to do? Well, Arby's has a new thing. And I know you're probably like, Uncle, what's the thing? Well, they have a Philly cheesesteak. And uh, it's got um, apparently a couple things on. So, it's obviously got steak, uh, cheese, and then uh, an aioli, which is code name for uh, mayonnaise. We didn't get that. Gar garlic. Uh, oh, my goodness, man. I'm just tongue-tied and, I guess, weary from this long winter day. It's very rainy, and uh, I just need to wake up, get with the program. Uh, it came to five eighty-nine. Uh, I got some curly fries. We'll get those later. Uh, but the sandwich itself came to five eighty-nine um, after North Carolina tax. Uh, that likely comes to just north of $6. So yeah, it comes with the peppers, the, the steak, the cheese, um, a fun catch song that used to be sang on a 90s TV show, and uh, usually aioli, but of course we didn't get that. So we're just kind of opening it up here, okay? Um, so it says it comes with peppers, right? Let's look at the... It's hot. Let's look at the fare. Oh, it comes with little peppers. Now... The pictures and the commercial looks like uh, there's some yellow peppers on there, but it uh, doesn't look like that's the case here. Um, looks like it's on a little hoagie. It's soft. It's warm. Let's give it a whirl. Okay, one more little bite here and we'll talk about it. That's kind of what it looks like so far. There's a good amount of meat in there, it's always a plus. Let me tell you, man, there's just not many peppers in here. Oh, there is one yellow one. I don't know if you can see it up front there. Wow, one yeller. So let's talk about it. The mainstay to any Philly cheesesteak is the steak and the cheese. Um, hence in the name. Uh, that's why you have cheese steak. Um, so let's talk about those two things first. Cheese is fine. Um, it's average. I mean, it's your standard fare. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's provolone or something of the sort. I mean, it's a milder cheese and, you know, melted fine and it's got a good little flavor and it makes it a little bit gooier. Let's talk about the steak. Now, the steak leaves a lot to be desired. Now, Arby's generally has good meats. Um, this one tastes a little freezer burnt, almost. Um, tastes old. It's a little bit dry. Um, so either they overcooked it um, and overcooked it as a result of it being in the freezer all day. So they nuked it way too long. Um, it just doesn't taste very fresh. It just, it's, it's not great. Now, I mean, it could be fine. The flavor just is meh, you know? It, it's just not there. Um, moving on to kind of the more other 
interesting aspects that you may find in a Philly cheesesteak, such as peppers. Peppers are fine. Usually I'm used to, you know, bell pepper, uh, which these are, but, you know, the green variant, I guess. Um, and these are fine. Nothing special. The hoagie, a little bit too chewy for my liking. Um, I like it to be a little bit more toasted and uniform. This one doesn't quite meet that standard. It's a little bit more chewy and soft, um, opposed to kind of um, harder and, and toasted. Um, so I think that the, the, the ingredients are here for a good product. It just doesn't come together well. Um, and the steak especially, while there's a lot of it, is very dry and doesn't taste fresh. So, I mean, if your main showstopper is going to be your steak, you know, make it great, you know. Uh, what else can one ask for when they go to a place that says, uh, we have the meats? Well, you have them, and there's a lot of them, and I appreciate that. It's just, you know, it's dry, um, and it doesn't taste great. Um, it's just not very flavorful. So you can have great everything else, which this sandwich has pretty decent everything else except for the bread, which is, you know, a little bit below average. But Arby, come on. I'll finish it. Again. I'm hungry. But I would suggest for a comparable sandwich for a similar price you can go to Jersey Mike's maybe a little bit more expensive for a similar size now I know you can get the gargantuan whatever they call it no that's Jimmy John's whatever their large sub is Big Mike you know and it will it'll cost you a pretty penny maybe about twelve dollars or something like that um, but man the steaks great um, it's cooked right in front of you and uh, the bread is put on the flat top right in front of you. So you can see all that happening and you can taste the difference. It's a little bit uh, fresher and uh, it's a little bit more, I guess, whenever you see something cooked in front of you, you kind of have in the back of your mind when you're eating it, man, this tastes good uh, because you know where it came from. This, eh, I don't know, it came from a freezer probably. Don't know. Um, so yeah, Arby, you can do better and I know you can do better, so, you know, get with the program. So, what can we rate this? Um, you know, being that it costs probably over six dollars in your neck of the woods, um, at least close to it when it's all said and done, and then a combo probably maybe more around nine. Um, at least that's kind of what the this one costs. I would say that I'm a little disappointed, so we're going to go ahead and give it a meh rating of course, which uh, equates to in our scientific scale here at the Spicy Carl family of networks, of a 4.82123. Yeah. And it's just because, you know, we, we expect more for our dollar. And um, as a result, uh, I expect more for the blue-collar men and women out there who toil away in the fields, bring their lunch pail to work every single day. Uh, frankly, you deserve better. So, anyway... Hope you're doing well, and uh, life is treating you well, and uh, that this message finds you well. It's a little warm here um, for this time of year, it's December, and uh, yet we still have fluctuations in temperature, you know, ranging to uh, sometimes 70 degrees. Don't know what to, to make of that. So anyway, God bless. Hope to see you again. And as always, you take care. Until next time.